Welcome back to the Rivalry Sportswear channel, everyone. This is M. Diddy, and we've got another jersey review video for you today. It's actually going to be a little bit of a comparison video. We're sticking with the All-Star theme because the NBA All-Star game is coming up this weekend, and we're going to show Michael Jordan's first All-Star game jersey from 1985. This is an authentic reproduction by Mitchell and Ness. And we're going to take a look at the details on that and also the details of his last NBA All-Star Game jersey from 2003 held in Atlanta. So a memorable game. He had a shot that forced overtime in this game. A lot of great players. So we'll be taking a look at this one as well. This is an authentic Reebok jersey. So we're going to break down the details, go over the differences, Hope you enjoy this. It's been fun doing all these all-star videos for you. Uh, got a LeBron James all-star video collection coming tomorrow and a preview and a short that I made for you today. But let's first take a look at these Jordan all-star game details. And we'll start by taking a look at his first all-star game jersey, the authentic reproduction by Mitchell and Ness from 1985. Let's take a look. All right, here is the front of the 1985 NBA All-Star Game jersey. Authentic reproduction made by Mitchell and Ness. You can see we've got All-Star here done in two color. This is screen printed on. You can see the way you can see those holes through there. That lets you know that that is paint that has been applied to the jersey sitting on top of the fabric. And similarly, you can see the number 23 and block font, same fashion done there. And the NBA logo and NBA word mark also done in screen printing. So everything on this jersey is screen printed. You've got the red, white, and blue trim for the armholes and the neck hole. You've got the Mitchell and Ness tagging made in the USA so this is made in the USA and that beautiful classic 1980s NBA all-star game uniform style we've got the stars on the side here also screen printed alternating in red and blue going up that and you can see there is actually a side panel here that is kind of worked into the jersey that is unique. Um, you don't see this on a lot of the other All-Star Game jerseys. And I do believe the gamers were done that way. So this is actually accurate to the style that Jordan would have worn for his rookie All-Star Game. Um, this is the tag here for Mitchell and Ness Authentic, February 10th, 1985, Michael Jordan and the front one more look at it here before we show the back but really nicely done by mitchell and ness um, they did an excellent job on this so got to give them props all right and here we have the back of the jersey just a single color hit on the back for the block 23 and the jordan name just really nicely done in screen print once again the proper fonts used they really did a nice job with this i said it on the front but everything holds true they did a great job with the fonts the proportions everything worked well with this jersey now that we've taken a look at the 1985 jersey let's fast forward and take a look at the 2003 jersey done by reebok all right, and here we have the front of the 2003 NBA All-Star Game held in Atlanta. And we have the same throwback style that we saw on Jordan's rookie jersey. But we'll zoom in and take a look at some of the differences here. So as you can see, this instead of being screen printed, we've got two layers of twill sewn on to the jersey we've got a twill number 23 zigzag stitched onto the jersey and then the nba logo is also two layer twill but the jerry is kind of a patch 
So it's kind of patched up, sewn onto the jersey. And then we also have the Jerry on the chest. Same red, white, and blue trim that we had on the 85. The stars, however, are screen printed on. So that element carries through to the 2003 version. Here we have the jock tag. And this is from the 2003 Atlanta game designed by Reebok for the NBA athlete. Size 48 plus two. And this is a hardwood classics vintage with a 87, 88 year throwback. So even though in 87, 88, the designs would have been screen printed on, they just wanted to honor that particular style. Jordan did win MVP in this Jersey in Chicago. So that's one of the reasons why they chose to go with this style. The West, of course, wore the road um, version of this, which was the red jersey. So those are also really nicely done. But great details on the front of this 2003 Michael Jordan NBA All-Star Game, his last NBA All-Star Game. Let's take a look at the back details. All right, the back of the 2003 All-Star Game jersey, we see royal blue twill sewn down in a zigzag stitch block font and then we have this block serif font in jordan single color royal blue twill sewn down in an arch and then the wizards logo as a patch sewn onto the back of course michael jordan two seasons with the wizards when he came out of retirement in the early 2000s so this is the 2003 NBA All-Star Game jersey for Michael Jordan. Very memorable for that game and for it being his last NBA All-Star Game. And quite a contrast between these two styles. You know, we saw the first jersey, lots of screen print. This one has lots of twill, a lot more sophisticated on the details as far as their application. So that's one thing that I love about jerseys is that over time, you do see methods change um, as far as the design elements, the fabrics used, the type of embroidery that's used. So it's fun to see the evolution. And with the same style and the same player, I think this situation was even more unique. And of course you have the Wizards logo, which if you're not familiar, caused quite a bit of controversy. When Mitchell and Ness released this jersey, they had some that were done with the Wizards logo. And apparently Michael did not give consent or approval to use that logo. And so they had to take them down off the site. So only a few lucky collectors were able to grab this in their collection. But, you know, I'm fortunate enough to have the actual Reebok um, that came out at that time. So these were available during the game. I actually was on the phone with the NBA store trying to get one. And they were available in all sizes, but they were pro cut. So they had additional length I ended up with a size 56 plus three. They were available that February in 2003. And then later that summer, late spring, early summer, they released these 48 plus three sizes. They were a little bit more readily available. You could buy them at authorized distributors at the mall and things like that that carried sportswear. Um, so a lot of people were able to pick those up. I ended up trading in a package deal my 56 plus 4 for this 48 plus 3 i just felt like it was a you know more accurate representation of what jordan wore the 56 did not have the wizards logo on the back um so if you ever see one of those don't think it's fake it could be one of the rare jerseys that was available the weekend at atlanta and at the nba store in new york so a little bit extra detail there but i hope you enjoyed the breakdown Let's kick it back. We'll close out the video. Well, there you have it. Two jerseys, almost 20 years apart. Very similar in their look, but very different when it comes down to the details of the jersey. So, appreciate you checking out this video. Excited for All-Star Weekend. Uh, it should be fun. I'm hoping that I can get my hands on the LeBron James authentic All-Star jersey, whichever team he, uh, color he ends up wearing. Personally. I'm kind of hoping for the orange and yellow just because I feel like I have a lot of LeBron blue all-star game jerseys. So we'll see if that comes to fruition, but 
Thanks so much for checking out the video. We do have that LeBron James jersey all-star collection coming tomorrow on the channel. Should be a little bit longer, but should be a lot of fun to go through all of those jerseys. And then on Friday, we'll finish off the week with the a next installment from Messi Quest. So looking forward to bringing you those two videos. And thanks so much for checking out this video. If you like the video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you have, thank you so much. It helps spread this content to sports fans like you that may enjoy it. So thank you very, very much from all of us here at Rivalry. I have been M. Diddy. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next review. And until then, keep collecting.